Hi, I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre of Johnson Wales University. Today I'm going to do a recipe called sautéed mushroom salsa. So right now at farmers markets you're going to see uh, all types of different wild mushrooms and uh, you, you know a lot of people are like, well I don't know what to do with them, Is, does it have to be different? Well I'm going to show you that they're very easy, they're very simple to use and when people think about salsa they think of the typical um, tomato, jalapeno, cilantro, onion, cold salsa. But salsa really in Spanish means sauce, so it can be anything you want. So I like to do a warm salsa um, and use those roasted mushrooms. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It still can be spicy, but this is your salsa. So if you don't like spicy, then tone it down. If you love it really spicy, then go to town. What we're going to do is we're going to add a little olive oil and a little butter. And what I like to, I like to use butter because um, it helps it helps in the browning process but you can't get as high heat as you can with olive oil not that olive oil is a big smoke point one but I like to get a nice little brown from the dairy so we'll get that going I like to add my aromatics so I'm gonna add the shallots but you can use onions too you can use green onions that are coming out right now in the spring maybe those are in your garden popping up right now so you can use those and then I like to add this so I have a mix of three types of mushrooms here always like to season as they go along so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let I'm not gonna mix what I like is for these mushrooms to get a nice brown they have to get they have a lot of water a lot of people say don't wash your mushrooms before well to me mushrooms are about not to me, but they're very high in percentage in water. So a little more water is not going to hurt, so I don't mind giving them a nice wash. It's if you were going to wash them and then set them aside for a long time that they would start to get sticky and not that great. But if you're going to wash them and use them, then, then definitely use that because where do they come from? Yeah, that's right, the dirt. So you can see where, so I like to get that off. So they're starting to brown. Plus, I wish you could smell it. You'll be able to smell it at your home to get this nice roasty smell. So we got these nice and brown. So I'm gonna to add tomatoes. So it's pretty dry. They've absorbed the butter and the oil. And that's a great flavor. The shallots and the garlic are starting to give a little flavor. So I'm gonna start cooking down the tomatoes. The tomatoes are gonna give a nice sauce. They're gonna start uh, letting their juices out from the heat. Again, season as we go. I like since it's of uh, Hispanic, flavor salsa I love cumin cumin is a great flavor profile then we're gonna go with a little jalapeno I have some diced jalapenos I took the seeds out I just want the flavor some people are you know chili heads and they need to be in pain and tears for their dish to be in heaven so that's up to you I just like a little flavor I have kids I want to make one dish for everybody so it's a nice little spice and this nice little bite, but again, you add whatever you like. So I like to add at the end, I like to add a little lemon. A little bright acidity makes everything pop. You don't have to cook this very long. You just want to give it a nice saute. Season a little more. I'm a big pepper fan, as you know. So I like that. You don't want to cook it too long. And with the mushrooms, as you can see, with these small mushrooms, I didn't cut them up because I wanted to have nice texture, nice flavor. Um, with the button mushrooms, you can just quarter them or thick cut them because you, you want a nice chunky salad. I mean, a uh, salsa. This could be a nice salad, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. If you cooled it off. At the end, wow, wow, that looks great, my friend. Um, at the end, I like to add a little fresh cilantro. So nice green. I don't like to cook it very long. Uh, cilantro tastes best and it's raw. You know, if you cook it, all that flavor punch goes away. So this is a flank steak that he seasoned just simply and fantastic with salt and pepper. That's all you need. A perfect, perfect cooking to my like liking. So again, it's about you. I like a medium rare. And that's right, it's what I asked for. It's what I got, appreciate it. And so this salsa is almost, almost like a side dish because it's chunky, but it's got that nice spice, a nice flavor. 
and once we get it on, you can add your little spring, whatever vegetables that you might have found in the garden or at the market, a sauteed spinach, maybe some nice fresh sauteed arugula, some early spring lettuces, and there you go. Sauteed mushroom salsa with flank steak. All our recipes are available on our website. I'm Chef Jorge De La Torre from Johnson Wales University. Let's dig in.